thank you for being here. My name is Juan Briones and I'm a hospice social worker and we're going to discuss what is hospice care. I'm going to ask, uh, like, do you know what hospice means? I know that hospice care is for terminally ill patients. Do you know what hospice is? Yes. And what is hospice for you? What hospice means to you? Um, when they go to the place, to people are already like close to being dead. Mm, kind of. Okay, you don't need to know exactly, like, that's why we're going to discuss this presentation. Do you know what hospice is? I don't know what it is. Okay, well, the outline of this presentation is going to be, we're going to explain what is hospice, the philosophy of hospice, hospice mission, hospice values and pledge, the agency organizational chart, the definition and history, uh, who and can refer you to hospice, the medical eligibility, qualifying diagnosis, who hospice patients are, the levels of care, care of hospices and services, and we honor the veterans program, and also what is IDG, the plan of care, services, covered, paying hospice cares, issues in hospice, caregivers, dying and death, five stages of grief, grief and loss, types of grief, and end of life issues and references. Okay. I'm going to describe what is hospice. Hospice is not a, a place, it's a philosophy. For example, we, like in the agency where I work, you, like a lot of people think that there's, like it's a, like a facility where patients are, but mainly uh, we go out and visit our, visit our patients. Our patients are in, in their houses. We, it's not a facility you think. So, hospice does not seek to prolong or shorten life, but to assist in providing dignity and quality of life for whatever time the patient has lived. Hospice is for patients with a lifetime limiting illness. Okay, this part is for who can refer, to, refer you to hospice. So basically, uh, a physician uh, can refer you to hospice. For example, you have to be you have to be diagnosed with uh, a terminal ill disease. So for example, let's say you have cancer and they only give you up to six months so you can be referred to a hospice. This does not mean that the patient will die within six months. Sometimes, for example, let's say patients have Alzheimer's. We have patients with Alzheimer's that can live, an Alzheimer's patient can live from nine years to 20 years. So for example, uh, every six months, they need to be reassessed to be continue to keep in hospice. So uh, being in hospice doesn't mean that you need to do, that you're gonna die. So the patient and family should desire comfort, care, and pain symptom control only. This is also called palliative care. Hospice reduce clinical emotion and spiritual suffering for patients and families near end of life. Patients selecting hospice should be willing to forego other medi Medicare benefits related to the terminal diagnosis like hospitalization. For example, patients in hospice uh, need to be willing to let go of being hospitalized. Uh, for example, hospice, like I said, like I was talking before, hospice means just comfort, care, not being with tubes or with, uh, with anything. Hospice provides all the services needed to manage the patient's symptoms and the complications that come with the dying process. Hospice also supports the entire family and caregivers and providers, not only pain and symptom control, but emotional and spiritual support for the patient, family, caregivers. This is accomplished by a team of professionals who are trained in the dying process and providing support during that time. This is some of the services uh, that ho hospice provides, for example, we are a 24-hour consultation with it, within nursing and staff as needed. The state of the air, state of the air, pain and symptom management. For example, we provide all medications for your pain. We don't, we do not give you medication so you cannot like to get better. It's only pain, like symptom management. Uh, we also provide emotional support and counseling, spiritual support, bereavement support, medications needed for pain and symptoms management. Equipment needed, for example, we provide you with hospital beds, oxygen, walkers. Also, we provide assistance with physical care, uh, therapies as needed, and, 
and volunteers as support. Uh, what the philosophy of hospice, we recognize the dying as a natural, inevitable process when curative therapy is no longer effective. We seek neither to hasten nor prolong the dying process. We believe that palliative care and sensitivity to individuals' needs will allow dying patients to have full and rewarding lives until death. We support family and friends during the patient's illness and assist them after patient's death throughout the bereavement program. For example, many people think that we are only there for the patient, but we are there for the whole family. So even when the patient passed away, we are also there with the family, like until six months, depending uh, if they're in, like we categorize the grief between families. So if they are low risk, they are not like, many people already, uh, they process that the patient is gonna die. So they are good of, like if the patient died, they're good to go. Like they don't, they don't need the support of any, like for example, the chaplain, the social workers, or the volunteer. Uh, the mission of hospice is to meet the needs of dying patients, their families, and loved ones by providing compassionate, comprehensive, palliative care, focusing on physical, social, and emotional, and spiritual support. This is just like an outline about who works in hospice. For example, from the director of nursing, up Account management managers, business managers, and medical directors are the ones that are the persons that are in our office, and it's just like it's just enough uh, like to see who works in a hospice, how's like the chain of command. Okay, the definition and history of hospice. Hospice is the Latin word meaning host and guest. The term hospice is, medi is medieval times referred to a place for weary travelers to rest and stay comfort for those in need. Patron saint of hospice, St. Julian, first modern hospice, St. Christopher Hospice in London. And Dr. Cecily Saunders introduced the idea of specialized care for the dying in the U.S. during the visit to Yale University in 1963. In 1974, the first U.S. hospice opened in New Haven, Connecticut. In 1975, the first national gathering of hospice providers. In 1986, hospice was made a permanent benefit under Medicaid Part A. In 1993, hospice is guaranteed benefit under Clinton's health. Patients are cared for residentially. So this is basically that the the history, of, the history of our hospice, so the first hospice in the U.S. was in 1974. Who can refer you to hospice? The physician is like the doctor, the clerk, clergy, the friends and family members, groups, homes, home health agencies, hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, assistant living facilities, and patients. Many of our patients are refer, are refer from the physicians. Medical eligibility. The patient must have a prognosis of six months or less to live, but does not mean that the patient must die, die within the six months. Certification of a terminal, terminal illness must be made by two physicians. The patient must desire hospice services and understand that it's palliative care and not curative treatment. Do you know the, the difference between palliative and curative? Does anyone know? No? Okay. So, well, palliative care is just that you want pain for medication. You don't, like, for example, you have cancer. We are not gonna give you, a, like, radiation therapy, not, like, nothing like chemotherapies. We are not gonna give you that. So it's basically, we are just giving you, like, comfort treatment. So hospital is covered under Medi Medicare Part A, so most people have Medicare. So basically, uh, medi like, Hospice is free if you have Medicare Part A. Qualifying diagnosis for hospice. Heart disease, pulmonary disease, Alzheimer's disease, HIV and AIDS, liver disease, chronic heart failure, renal disease, stroke, and cancer. Who, who hospice patients are? 
As an illness becomes more serious, our terminal and patient's focus changes from curative to quality, quality of life patients. Should consider asking the doctor about receiving hospice care. Er average amount of time hospice cares are 6 to 9.5 days. The four levels of four levels of care are like, for example, routine home cares. As I said before, like the nurse, the doctor, the social worker, the chaplain goes out to the to the home home visits. Sometimes patients are sent to respite care. Care core hospice services providers care provide provides care equipment, medications, and supplies related to the patient's terminal diagnosis, control of pain and other symptoms, throughout medication, environmental adjustment and education, psychological support for both patients and family, including all phases from diagnosis through the bereavement. Bereavement is for 13 months. So for example, after a patient dies, we stay with the family like 13 months after the patient passes, passes away. Core hospice service. Interdisciplinary groups approach to patients' care, patients and family support, and education with physician's direct supervision. The team members are med medical directors, RN, case management, case management, certifying nurse assistants, social workers, chaplains, and volunteers. We also we honor the veterans program. La Diferencia mission is to provide excellent care of our veterans by partnering with the NHPCO, the best practice on our military and families, community, and engagement. The interdisciplinary group, IDG. IDG is the meeting that, for example, the uh, and the doctor, the social worker, the chaplain, they meet every Wednesday. They gather, like they get together to discuss what is happening with their patients, and this is the purpose of the IDG is to ensure the ongoing communication between all members, share information based on the team members' respective aspects of care, and to review and update plan of care. For example, the plan of care is either the patient you have to go once a week or twice, a, like twice a week. It's depending how bad is the patient with with their illness. And the plan of care, it's each plan of care must be individualized to meet specific, specific needs to the patients and caregivers. What hospice services and costs are covered? Services provided, pro, services provided by the interdisciplinary group, medications related to patient hospice diagnosis, medical equipment related to the patient's hospice diagnosis, services of registered di di dietitian, phys physical, speech and occupational therapies as related to the hospice diagnosis, room charges while on respite, room charges while in general in patient care, and bereavement services. Paying of hospice cares. Most insurance plans cover hospice cares. All Medicare and Medicaid cover hospice cares and services including quali qualified prescription pres prescriptions and necessary medical equipment and La Diferencia care team member can help determine a patient's coverage. More than 5,000 hospices participate in the Medicare program in the U.S. The Medicare hospice benefits in, can, in, in Canton by the Congress in 1982 is the primary source of payment hospice cares. So mainly, for example, we have I think 55 patients, so most of our patients are covered, like they pay hospice services through Medicare, so uh, Medicare covers every single expenses for them. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? For example, any, any questions? Hmm? Do you have any patients? Oh, for example, since we are a new hospice, uh, we just opened up, I think it was May of last year, so we are going to be, we are barely like, on this upcoming May, we're going to be one year, that since we opened and we only have like 55 patients, for example, but that doesn't mean that we only have one nurse, one social worker, or one, for example, one doctor. We have, I think, like seven nurses and each one has like 10 patients. So, we don't have a lot of patients compared to other hospices. Okay. 
Do you have any other questions? What are bereavement services? Well, the bereavement services, it's the chaplain. The chaplain's main like job is to take care of the family in the spirit, spiritual uh, kind of way. Like for example, talking about any specific religion. Also, when a patient pass like passes away, uh, he's there for the family support. Like for example, each month. Uh, we have a bereavement support group, so everyone it's can go to the support group, and basically the bereavement is a spiritual like guide to make you like help help you like with the uh, with your loss. So that's it. <coughs>